our new Mercedes-Benz user experience. In short, MBUX. Speak now, please. Please welcome Ola Kalenios, member of the Board of Management of Daimler AG, responsible for group research in Mercedes-Benz cars development. Ladies, ladies and gentlemen, a happy new year to all of you. I have to say, I am extremely happy today. Last night, I was in the Mercedes-Benz Stadium in Atlanta, and I watched the Crimson Tide struggle in the first half of the game, fight their way back in the second half and win the national championship with an incredible 41-yard touchdown in overtime. I still can't stop smiling. Why am I saying this? It's a once-in-a-lifetime experience to see your favorite team right in our backyard where we have our plant in Alabama achieve such a victory. There's only one team I love more, obviously, Mercedes-Benz. And now we celebrate an amazing achievement as well. We intend to revolutionize the way you interact with cars. For example, I've had some of my best conversations in a car, but so far, talking to a car tends to feel like this. We will change that today. This year, what happens in Las Vegas won't stay in Las Vegas. Before we come to that, let me give you some background on what's going on at our company right now. First of all, we started this year with some great news. Yesterday, we published our full year numbers for 2017, and it turned out to be our seventh record year in a row. We remain the most successful premium car brand worldwide. All in all, we delivered about 2.3 million Mercedes-Benz cars to customers around the globe, and nearly 340,000 of them went to the US, allowing us to remain the number one luxury brand here as well. We will build on this success to drive the greatest change our industry has ever seen. It's all about the fusion of four megatrends that we label with the acronym CASE. In other words, we are creating an intelligent, holistic approach to mobility. The hearts of our vehicles used to be drivetrains. In the future, it will be their hard drives. But that doesn't mean Mercedes cars get less personal. On the contrary, our customers will enjoy more personal experiences with our brand than ever before. Since digitalization brings great benefits to them, we can make sure our products adapt to their requirements in every detail. We call this human-centered innovation. It's obvious that we couldn't possibly find the perfect algorithm to describe every Mercedes driver. Instead, we increasingly turn to deep learning and artificial intelligence. Here's a great example in the context of autonomous driving. We sent a just slightly modified, but basically standard S-Class around the world to gather traffic data on five continents while driving partly automated. A field trip for a car, if you like. Traffic in different countries obviously present different challenges for self-driving cars. For instance, what a pedestrian crossing is in Europe might indicate the minimum distance between vehicles in China. Here in the US, people frequently overtake on the right, whether it's allowed or not. Wouldn't necessarily work in Germany, but works here. And in Australia, there are maneuvers you don't see in Europe, like the typical Melbourne hook turn, in which you move to the left in order to make a right-hand turn. Our S-Class just wrapped up its world tour right here in Las Vegas yesterday and it gathered a great deal of experience. Have a look.
Ladies and gentlemen, the S-Class Intelligent Worldwide. Now, deep learning is not only useful to understand the patterns of various traffic situations. It also helps us to better understand you. In this respect, we have some major news for you today. Our new Mercedes-Benz user experience, in short, MBUX. This has nothing to do with incremental improvements we've gotten used to in regards to interaction with our cars. We consider this to be a revolution. To start, MBUX offers the best graphics and performance. We also gave MBUX various modes of intuitive control. One key element is the use of natural language. It allows for the best conversation you've ever had with a car. Simply say, hey Mercedes, and it will respond to you. Let's hear more from my colleagues who developed and created this unique experience. Hey Mercedes, please call my favorite designer. Calling Tommy Hilfiger. Oh, no, no, sorry, sorry. Um, hey Mercedes, please call my favorite car designer. Calling Gordon Wagner. Hi, Ola. I'll be there any minute. Could you just play the video, please? You know what they always say. A picture is worth a thousand words, right? Okay, let's have a look. Please welcome Gordon Wagener, Chief Design Officer, Daimler AG, Mercedes-Benz Cars, Vans and Daimler Trucks. Hi and hello everyone. It's great to be here in Vegas. I hope you enjoyed the first glimpse into our new system. It's really awesome. And the good news is, you will soon be able to use this piece of design in your car every day. Our all new Mercedes-Benz operating system is really amazing. It's the first truly designed user experience. As Ola mentioned, our new MBUX is incredibly intelligent and tailored to your needs. But for me, as a designer, it's not just about intelligence. Of course, it's also about emotions. And my job is to turn technology into an emotional experience. Therefore, intelligence and emotions is the crucial essence of our design philosophy, which, in a nutshell, we call hot and cool. The hot aspect expresses our designer's passion for beauty. It means the heart, the sex appeal in the design. The cool aspect? represents the high-tech character. It also alludes to the fact that our designs are unexpected and unique. For the UX design, we translated this into user delight and ease of use, which is the essence of our all-new MBUX. By the way, the S-Coop here on the screen just serves an, as an example for the next generation of cars to come with MBUX. As car designers, we certainly have a different design approach, especially always having our philosophy of hot and cool in mind. We think in three-dimensional shapes, colors, and materials. This is why we applied our design guidelines during the process of creation of our user experience. Let me explain what that means. We created user delight by working with animated three-dimensional objects in space instead of two-dimensional vector graphics. By doing so, we created a beautiful glossy look with brilliant contrast. 
the core of ease of use is going for reduction and simplicity instead of complexity. We designed our new MBUX to be intuitive with natural interactions and explanatory visualizations. So what we created is truly in the sense of someone who once said, design is not only what it feels like and looks like, design is how it works. With that in mind, we designed our Mercedes 3D operating system. It allows for extremely intuitive user interaction. We use the cinematic proportions of our display to scroll through the content horizontally, like navigation, music, etc. By swiping vertically, you can access your favorites or set different themes. And by going into the third dimension, you can explore deeper layers of the menu. So you can find all top use cases on the first two layers. As you can see, you can move around through our Mercedes-Benz user experience just as naturally as you move around your living room. But that's not all. We take 3D operation one step further. The car actually becomes the menu, thanks to real-time rendering. This is the first time such a three-dimensional model is used as a menu to explore your car's functions. To the user, this is really unexpected. And I'm sure that this quality will even excite people in the gaming community. And so with that, I'm convinced that this will appeal to the next generation of our customers in particular. Of course, our instrument cluster follows the same principles of our design guidelines. As you can see, it comes with a clean, glossy instruments on the 3D stage. And all the content you need for driving is perfectly integrated into it. And this is what's important here. We don't believe in one size fits all. You decide which scenery you will look at. For our instrument cluster, we have three different zones, which you can adapt as you wish. And if you prefer only the essential information, you can open up the stage and, through beautiful animation, chose our full screen mode. Very clean and reduced, and still extremely essential and appealing. So, talking about reduction, we always talk about emotional reduction. And with our next mode, we take this to the extreme. Our silent mode. This is serenity. When we created this mode, we had our basic design principle in mind. If we like something, we take a line off. And if we still like it, we take another line off. The result is simple, pure, and clean. And still, we have made sure you get all the important information. See? Glad I didn't miss that one, right? <laughs> but as much as I like the peace and quiet, I'm still a car guy. So we also offer something quite different. That is so cool. I really, really love it. This is how we translate the driving dynamics of our cars into the virtual world. To sum it all up, ladies and gentlemen, we have created a user experience like you have never seen it in a car before. It's intuitive, simple, and unexpected. And at the same time, it's very beautiful and sensual. In other words, it's the hottest and coolest operating system ever. So you see, we turn technology into an emotional experience. Well, talking about technology, here's the guy who can tell you more about that. My dear friend, Zajat Khan. Thank you very much.
Please welcome Zajat Khan, Vice President Digital Vehicle and Mobility of Daimler AG. Thank you, Gordon. Ladies and gentlemen, as Gordon said, emotion and intelligence go hand in hand in our new MBUX. We believe in the combination of a beauty and the brains. In fact, the beauty of our system is something almost everybody agrees on. But it's intelligence which makes it truly individualized. We wanted to create a system that completely adapts to our customer needs. In fact, our new system is extremely easy to use, and it comes with a new level of great cloud connectivity. Our vehicles are now deeply integrated into the Internet of Things. We will update MBUX regularly and securely over the air using a cryptographic signature and a transport channel additionally secured by TLS. Updates can only be installed if the signature is valid in the car. Not least of all, as Ola mentioned before, it's an intelligent learning system. And this is how it adapts to the requirement of our customers. This, of course, goes for personalized vehicle settings, just like seat or mirror adjustment. But it also includes convenience and comfort features like lighting or the audio settings. Let's have a closer look at some of these aspects in a very short but very clear video. King is back. Oh, yeah. Hi, Mercedes. Yes, please. I want some German bread. Please select an entry. Hi, Mercedes. It's too hot in here. Can we make it more East Coast? I am setting the temperature to 62 degrees. Why is there a wedding chapel in your suggestions? All right, Mercedes, navigate me to what three words? Drive, single, beast. <laughs> Hi, Mercedes. Where did Jeff drive us last night? Tattoo shop, Las Vegas. Ladies and gentlemen, as you just saw in the video, each of us has a different preference how we would like to use a system. In our MBUX, you can have different kind of controls. You can control the system either through the touchpads on the steering wheel or having a touchpad in the center console. We also have uh, exclusive 10-inch touch screens, first time in the Mercedes-Benz cars. And on top of everything else, our all-new speech control. Plus, our MBUX is a great example of ShyTech. We have made sure that whatever of the system you use, it features only intuitive interface technology that runs almost unnoticed in the background. But where would all of this functionality be without amazing graphics? That's the base technology on the back. We give you that too. In terms of looks and performance, our 3D animations are rendered in real time with any changes being immediately visible to all. With MBUX, we have implemented the latest hardware available for the automotive sector. Components just like memories or CPUs known primarily from their computers or having become crucial elements for the car development. For example, our MBUX employs the latest generation of the graphic processors. I am sure many of you know them from your game console. Do you remember last year at the same CES, I was standing over here together with the NVIDIA CEO, Jensen Huang, and we both said, that we are both committed and we are working together extremely well, both companies, Mercedes and NVIDIA, to 
completely revolutionize the cockpit experience from the customers, from the performance perspective, as well as from the AI perspective. Our MBUX is powered by NVIDIA Graphic. Over-the-air update for such kind of a systems is also the key asset which we have in this system. So all this system is also over-the-air updatable. This means you always have the MBUX up to date. Actually, our MBUX is so smart that it can also even predict the future. Now, unlike the lady in this picture, it might not tell you that whether you will meet the love of your life or when you're going to win the lottery. But also unlike this lady in this picture, it tends to be right. Why? Because it learns from your plans and habits. For example, what's more relaxing than listening to the Bollywood music on your way home? MBUX knows that. It suggests you the right playlist at the right time for you. It always knows that when and at what point in time you would like to call your big boss, for example, on your way home. It just makes the number available to you to dial in. And it also knows your favorite points of interest, restaurants, or anything else. In regards to MBUX advanced speech recognition, in combination together with the AI, this has been our top engineering goal for this MBUX. That's why you can expect that our speech recognition in this MBUX is at a level unmatched by even the most sophisticated systems available on the market. Until recently, you will use the commands such as check weather Las Vegas. No one speaks like that anymore. Our MBUX speech is very, very intuitive. You can simply ask, hey, Mercedes, can I wear my flip-flops tomorrow? Tomorrow it will be mostly sunny in Las Vegas with a low of 46 and a high of 63 degrees. Oh, I should be careful. It's better I should put my sneakers on. So from now on, you can just call and have a chat with your car almost like you do with the people riding along with you in the vehicle. And are this new speech system and the recognition available in 23 different languages? By the way, it also constantly updates its database to make sure that it's completely up to date with any no new slang words available out in the market. Of course, we also have the terms in terms of cloud connectivity. And in this one, we have made sure that we have integrated the third-party apps excellently within our system. The integration of the Yelp to provide restaurants and the cafes. You can, for example, also navigate to restaurant or any kind of a cafe by simply choosing one from the suggestions which are available from the system. In addition to that, we also have included the TripAdvisor, which gives you the recommendations regarding the hotels and other travel-related digital services. On the IoT side, we have also integrated Google Home. We have also integrated Amazon Alexa into our MBUX. And of course, you can have a door-to-door -door navigation with any kind of a smart watch. By the way, our navigation system also supports a new art and a kind of a technology available for destination input. It's called as Word 3 Words. With Word 3 Words, you can navigate to any spot on the globe without having a street name or an address given to that place. This Word 3 Words integration is also available in this one. Just remember how the rapper in the video started his navigation by telling the system, drive single beast. Great fit. And here is one of my favorite feature. If you don't want to go in subsystems, what kind of a system would you like to use? If you don't want to go in any menus, what kind of a system you would like to use? What kind of intelligence is in there? This is our all new global search. With the global search, you can access almost anything within our system. 
For example, if you enter Ola in the search, then the search result shows you the route to the town of Ola in Erkensa in your navigation. It also shows you the phone number of the Ola in the communication menu. It also goes to the internet to look for the things available on the internet regarding that keyword which you give from the very top of the system. This means you don't have to search through each and every submenu if you would like to interact with our MBUX. Ladies and gentlemen, we are extremely proud of our new user interface MBUX, developed in-house by our digital experts in Stuttgart and in Silicon Valley, together with lots of great partners available in the industry to make sure that for our Mercedes customers, we bring the product on the street, which really makes a difference. But be warned. I can talk regarding that up to the end. And I have lots of more things which I can talk to. So make some time at our booth and have a look at the system available over there also. Let me upload Ola's profile so now he can wrap the things up. Thank you very much. Thank you, Sajad. Uh, you make it sound easy, but I know that you and your team have put incredible amounts of creativity, know-how, and hard work into our MBUX. Thanks for that. Ladies and gentlemen, you might be surprised to hear that this technology will not debut in one of our top vehicles. Instead, it will premiere in our all-new A-Class, which we will present next month in Amsterdam. There, you'll see how we've turned our A-Class into the ultimate mobile device. You know, when our founding fathers invented the car, you had to talk to this lady if you wanted to talk to Mercedes. She is the name patron of our brand, Mercedes Jelinek. I'm sure it would have been worthwhile a conversation with her. She was pretty free-spirited. But seeing her with this high-tech machine of her time, she actually does look a bit skeptical. I'm convinced she would feel much more at home with a modern-day Mercedes. And that's what we want to achieve. We want the symbiosis of amazing technology and great design that makes people feel at ease. In other words, we're very much looking forward to the future of mobility. And it's why we are not waiting to make it happen. You can experience the new MBUX for yourself right here at our booth. Give our new MBUX a try and enjoy the rest of the CES. Thank you very much. Gordon Sajan.